I'm Ellen Cross. I'm an art restorer at the Metropolitan Museum in New York. This story is about my last trip. It all started a few weeks ago, when a significant part of Professor Vanbury's valuable collection sank during a storm off the British coast. Ellen, remember the shipwreck that killed Professor Vanbury and sank 15 paintings from his collection? The ones he was supposed to hand down to us? Of course. Well, apparently, one of the paintings resurfaced in Budapest in an auction catalog. I want you to go there to check its authenticity. The Turner painting was the original, without a shadow of a doubt. That news gave me hope the other paintings might still be around. But it didn't make me forget that my days are numbered. I've always had an incurable orphan disease. There was only one drug available that was keeping me alive. I had just learned that the production of this drug had been discontinued. I think that you should come to our treatment center. There's no way I'm doing that. I've lived my whole life with this illness that's destroying my blood. I know what's in store for me. Anemia, fatigue, dizziness, nightmares, hallucinations, and a lot more. But I want to have a normal life until the very end. I understand. Take this drug pack. It's my last one. If you change your mind, just tell me. So, living on borrowed time, I went off to Europe to follow the trail of the other missing paintings. I met Adam Stoker in Whitby, a charming man who revealed the existence of a 16th century painting, a painting of Dracula that had never been exhibited. Vanbury wanted to bequeath it to our museum. My pursuit of the painting led me all the way to Istanbul to someone named Yannick. Yannick is an art forger and occasional murderer. In Yannick's workshop, I spotted a case. I'm convinced that the famous portrait is in this case. Is this latest nightmare due to my illness? Maybe I'm just too absorbed by my work, or by my encounter with Adam. In any case, I'll still have to wait a few more hours. I have to get back to New York and the Metropolitan Museum. Then I'll finally see what the mysterious portrait looks like. I requested that the case be delivered from the airport. I hope it's arrived safely. The door security system has changed. I don't have the magnetic card to access the restoration workshop. Come in! Hello, Alan. Welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. Apparently you found the Vanbury Collection's last painting. I haven't opened the case yet, but I do hope that it is indeed inside. Me too. But... You're right. It's better to be cautious. In any case, I'd first like to thank you for your fabulous work. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. The case is waiting for you in the workshop. The delivery man dropped it off less than a half hour ago. Start working. Don't forget to inform me immediately of any new developments. You've changed the workshop security system, haven't you? Yes, yeah, sorry, I forgot to tell you. The code lock system wasn't reliable anymore. Uh, here's your card. If you ever lose it, immediately inform me. We can remotely deactivate it. All right. Thank you, Mr. Phillips. Do you have information on the identity of the dead man that I found at Yannick's place? I can't say I do. When the police arrived, they didn't find any corpse or stolen painting. That's just not possible. Yannick must have realized that you went through his workshop and cleaned things up after your departure. I think that Yannick was commissioned to disguise some of the Vanbury collection paintings. At the Budapest police station, I listened to a recording of Friedland, the man who committed suicide in his prison cell. He mentioned a painter who had to go back to work. I'm sure he was referring to Yannick. Hmm, you're probably right. But that doesn't tell us anything about who he was working for. I still have hope that we'll find that out. I see that your trip to Europe has made you enthusiastic about field and investigation work. 
Exactly. Investigation is kind of like restoration. But well, once you clean up all the layers that make a painting illegible and remove the varnish, the painting's truth comes to light, like the answer to a riddle. You're a poet, Ellen. You're a woman of many talents. But you should rest now. You don't look so good. It's probably because of jet lag. Ellen! So, you've come back with some treasure. Hello, Jerry. I don't know what's in the case yet, but it just might be a portrait of Vlad the Impaler. Let's find out now. The package is waiting for you over there. We've unlocked the security system. I'll give you the honor of opening it. Thanks, Jerry. It's the least I could do. You worked really hard to find it. Uh, by the way, Adam Stoker tried to call you several times. Really? He's in New York for a few days. I think he really wanted to hear from you. I told him you were coming back today, so he might call back. Great. Have you already heard of Kenayek? Never heard of him. I've done some research, but I haven't found any reproductions of his work. But I must say that a lot of painters, even very talented ones, don't leave their mark on history. And how did you find out about the Yannick connection? The director's secretary gave me the idea to do some genealogical research. I think it's one of her hobbies. It was a great idea. You've met Professor Vanbury, haven't you? Yes, about 20 years ago. What was he like? Lively and passionate. Just your regular art collector. I can't understand why he was so obsessed about vampires. It's not really about vampires in general, but about this painting in particular. He was obsessed with it. Who knows, after we see the painting, maybe we'll finally understand. Thanks for the package you sent me in Istanbul. You're most welcome. And how are you doing, anyway? I hope you're not too tired from your trip. I'm tired, but I think it was good for me to have a change of scenery. The worst thing would have been to just stay here and wait for the end. You haven't told the director about it yet? He'll know about it soon enough. Without my drugs, my condition will quickly deteriorate. I won't be able to keep the secret for long. As soon as he realizes this, I can kiss the European trips goodbye. I'll be stuck with trivial missions. I can't believe it. The painting's been vandalized! Look! There's a black cross on it. You said that it seemed like Professor Vanbury was scared of the portrait, didn't you? Yes, but he was an art collector. I don't think he would have destroyed it. In some parts of Eastern Europe in the Middle Ages, people believed that painting a tar cross on a door could prevent vampires from coming into the house. So maybe he painted the cross to protect himself. Tar? We'll have to send a sample to the lab to check, but it certainly does look like tar. Waiting for the lab results, I could see if an infrared analysis might reveal something.
The image isn't very clear, but it does look like some kind of portrait. The painter must have made several sketches. I can also make out an animal as well as some clouds or smoke. The infrared camera reveals several sketches. It looks like a portrait, but there are also other contours. Great. Now we know that there is something under this dark cross. I won't be here tomorrow, but you'll handle taking the dating samples. I think that the dating will confirm that Kanayek could be behind them. If I'm right, it's a type of tar. If so, you should be able to remove it as early as today. Well, the lab results have come back. How did you find out about this cross custom? Oh, the director told me you were coming back with a painting that was surely a Vlad Tepes portrait. I just couldn't help but research his life and the legends surrounding him. I found this story in a very interesting book, an unpublished biography of Lad. You should look at it when you have time. This is what Dracula looked like. Or Vlad Tepes, rather. The painting looks alive. I've never seen anything like it. The painting's getting darker. How strange. I'm starting to understand why Vanbury was fascinated with this portrait. He looks alive. Like he's watching us. You're right. It's gripping. Apart from perhaps... Mona Lisa's smile. I've rarely seen such a disturbing expression on a painting. It looks like the varnish is darkening. Right, I noticed that too. Do you think I shouldn't have removed the tar layer? No, that can happen when the finishing layer hasn't been exposed to light for a while. I don't think that the painting will darken too much. The shadow of the dragon. What did you say? No, nothing special. Vlad Tepes was called Dracula and the Dragon, so I was thinking that if this is really a portrait of him, well, we've literally seen the shadow of the dragon. That's funny. One of the books I was reading had an excerpt of a poem of the same name. Vlad's younger brother wrote it. Really? Can I look at it? Of course. It's on my desk. I'll leave it there for you. But maybe you should put the painting in the storage room. You shouldn't do too much with it on the first day. Right, I'll do that. As for me, I'm going home. And I really want to congratulate you. If all of Kanayek's paintings are this good, you might have discovered a new Da Vinci. I don't feel good. I didn't take my medicine, because I forget to, with the jet lag. Metropolitan Museum of Art, Restoration Workshop, Ellen Cross speaking. Ellen, it's Adam. You're finally back. Y yes. <sighs> Hello, Adam. I heard you were in New York. Is that right? Just for a few days. I was afraid I wouldn't catch you. If you're free for dinner this evening, maybe you could tell me about your trip to Turkey. Well, 
Yes, uh, I do have a few things to do, but uh, sure, why not? I can pick you up at the museum in an hour. Sure. Vlad Basarab III, known as Tepes, the Impaler, was the inspiration for Bram Stoker's Dracula character. But few people know his real story. Tepes was the son of Vlad II, known as Dracul, the dragon. Tepes was the heir to the Valachian throne. He spent his childhood in Turkey, where Sultan Murad II held both him and his younger brother Radu hostage. It is said that Radu was the Sultan's favorite. Vlad was released in 1448, 14 years before his younger brother. This is probably why Radu the Handsome deeply resented his older brother throughout his whole life. People even say that Radu drove Vlad's beloved wife to suicide. Radu made her think that her husband had died. He gave her the dagger with which she killed herself. The prince never recovered from this tragedy. As legend has it, that was when he plunged into the netherworld. This book has a copy of a letter from Radu. The letter shows the rivalry that pitted these two men against each other. Radu also wrote a poem called The Shadow of the Dragon. It seems that this poem was meant for his brother. So happy to see you, Ellen. Me too. <laughs> so you ended up finding the portrait? Tell me about it. How did you do that? It's a long story, and it was in terrible condition. Professor Vanbury had covered it with tar. I'm still cleaning it up, but I'm making headway. I'm sure that you'll be able to restore it to its original glory. I hope so, but it looks fragile. The glaze has become slightly darker ever since it's been exposed to the open air. Do you think the process can be reversed? I think so, but it'll take some time. Well, if you can keep it a secret, I can show it to you. Oh yes, I'd love to. I didn't dare ask. Cross my heart. I'll be as silent as the grave. Good. Let's go then. Attention please. Adam? Please meet Dracula. Ellen, are you all right? Are you all right? Do you feel better? Um, uh, yes. What happened? You fainted at the museum. Don't you remember? I wanted to call the paramedics, but you said it should be fine. You just wanted to go back home, so I called a taxi, and here we are. Are you sure you don't want me to call for a doctor? Something's wrong. No, don't worry, I don't need a doctor. You did the right thing. I actually need a drink. I think I have a bottle of wine. Ellen, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Just look at you. You can hardly stand up. <sighs> I'm tired of being reasonable, Adam. Adam? Are you there? That couldn't have been a dream. Well, it's not much, but it could keep me from losing consciousness again. Ellen, I couldn't bring myself to wake you up. I'm going back to London this morning, but I'll call you very soon. Take care of yourself. Lots of love, Adam. So it wasn't a dream, even though he did vanish into thin air pretty quickly. I should take advantage of this to finish restoring the portrait. Who knows, maybe I'll take a few days off in Europe.
painting's gone. There hasn't been a break-in. There must be an explanation. This video camera automatically turns on whenever anyone comes into the storage room. I'll have to look at the video to understand what could have happened. Believe it! How could he have done that to me? If someone sees this recording, they'll think I'm his accomplice. I really have to find Adam and recover the portrait before anyone notices it's missing. Jerry won't be back till tomorrow, so there's a chance I won't have to finish off my days in prison. Jerry Borofsky's answering machine. Please leave me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Jerry, it's Marlene from the library. I'm worried. After your call yesterday afternoon, I followed up on your research request. I sent you a copy of the original parchment of the poem. A few hours later, a government official came to see me. I couldn't make out which department he was from, but as we both know, some documents are under surveillance. He wanted to know why I had looked up these documents. He looked shady, so I didn't mention you to him. I told him I was just curious. But I get the impression that he won't stop there. If he's really who he says he is, he'll realize pretty soon that I lied to him. I might be paranoid, but this guy really worried me. Be careful. What on earth is happening here? The portrait was stolen? A government official is interested in a poem from several centuries ago? I hope that Jerry won't be upset with me, but I've got to take a look at this document. Anyway, I really have nothing to lose now. Jerry, you owe me dinner. I had to move mountains to find the poem. The shadow of the dragon, but no shadow. However, this poem is the poem. Who knows? See you soon, Marlene. If I don't find the painting quickly, I might end up in prison. There might be a connection between the Dracula portrait and the poem. A few months ago, Jerry gave me a copy of the database prototype he wanted to fine-tune for the museum. If I want to use it to decipher Radu's verses, it's now or never. all about choosing the right keywords. Maybe I should reread Radu's poem to refresh my memory. Yerabatan, the Basilica Cistern of Istanbul. That's the engulfed basilica that Radu's poem talks about. If Marlene's hypothesis turns out to be right, a secret order called the Shadow of the Dragon has hidden its headquarters there. You should have already left your place, Ellen. I beg your pardon? You're not safe. 
Your friend Jerry was found dead in his apartment. What? They're following you, and I'm not talking about the police. But who the heck are you? Let's say I'm a friend of a friend. Apparently, you've done excellent work on his portrait. We know that it slipped through your fingers, but if you recover it and bring it to him, he'll be most grateful. You're nuts! It is fascinating, isn't it? But believe me, the model is even more fascinating. Y you mean Dracula? You shouldn't waste your time asking pointless questions. I've left a package in front of your door. Take it, and don't stick around. But where on earth do you want me to go? Follow your instinct, Ellen. I'm sure that you'll find your way. I need to contact Jerry. It can't be true. Hello? Hello, Jerry. It's Ellen. Hello. Mr. Borowski won't be able to speak with you. Who are you? The New York Police. I have really sad news for you, Ms. Cross. Ellen Cross. What are you talking about? How's Jerry doing? Mr. Borowski has passed away. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cross. I can't believe it. What happened to him? I can't speak to you on the phone. But I'd like to meet you. I'll be expecting you at the police station tomorrow morning. The woman who called must have been right. If Jerry died because of this stupid poem, I'm definitely in danger. I must go to Istanbul and figure out what the Basilica Cistern is hiding that's so valuable. Forged ID. Just what I needed to leave the country without attracting attention. How did this woman know that I could have needed papers? How did she get a hold of my photo? Either I have a guardian angel or someone's just using me. Hello, is the cistern still open to visitors? Absolutely. It will be closing in less than an hour. Some sections are under construction and can't be visited, so entrance is free. Can we see the Gorgons? Unfortunately, you can't. That's why you don't have to pay. You won't be able to see the famous peacock eye column up close either. Oh, but since the place is empty, could you make an exception? Sorry, miss. The same rules apply to everyone. Do enjoy your visit. The peacock eye column should be just behind this gate. Oh, it's locked. I'm sure that the guard has a key, but he'll never let me in. I need to find a way to take him away from his desk. Zero one eight six five five one five five. I could call the reception desk to make the guard leave his desk. The map shows only two Gorgon sculptures, but Radu's poem mentions three of them. The peacock eye column should be there. I need a coin. Hello? I'd like to talk to security, please. It's an emergency. You've called the right number. This is security here. What happened? Who's speaking? I work in front of the cistern and there's a fight right at the entrance. Are you sure? Definitely. Someone has to do something quickly before anyone dies. I'll see to it. But usually the police should be notified in this kind of situation. 
Well, I hope he'll really come up to look. I could use that small boat to explore the cistern. I have to find a way to reach it. This rock looks a bit loose. This rock looks a bit loose. The boat is moored to the scaffolding. The shadow of the dragon's hiding place is somewhere in this cistern. But without any reference points to guide me, I'll never find it. Third Gorgon with the upside-down face, like in the poem. I need to take a closer look. A golden compass. One of the verses from Radu's poem says, My child, follow the direction given to you fearlessly. This compass might be part of the key to the riddle. Crossing took so much time. I must be near the shadow of the dragon's hiding place. My child, follow the direction given to you fearlessly to the wall where my hiding place will open in the shadow. place will open in the shadow. Radu's poem is so accurate, it's scary. The poem does indeed lead to the shadow of the dragon's hiding place. Jerry was probably killed to keep this a secret. So what could be more valuable here than a man's life? This place sends shivers down my spine. 
can't believe that an order that was supposedly founded by a brother who wanted to take revenge on his older brother could last for over 500 years. Killing a dragon. Golden dagger that Radu III, the handsome, gave to the wife of his brother Vlad. It is believed that she took her life with this weapon. This is one of the few objects that some people believe has the power to hurt the dragon. The note doesn't explain why the young woman committed suicide. But even though history spared Radu, I think that Radu is even crueler than his brother. With the blood of Lilith, the first was created who will not be troubled by any of his children. That's interesting. These look like 17th or 18th century engravings. I'll have to take time to examine them. Someone took the dagger recently. There's less dust where the dagger was before. There's the portrait and now the weapon. Someone is really determined to confront Dracula. Secret archives that detail a set of eugenics experiments on passing down vampirism conducted between 1918 and 1936. Father Arno Moriani's Diary, 1920. Pentacle and the Four Elements. I get the feeling that the four elements are in the right place. I just need the fifth one, the spirit. I think I found it. The shadow symbol represents the spirit of the pentagram. Bar relief family tree. Impressive. Radu's lineage. From father to son, Radu's descendants watched over this place and awaited Dracula's fall. I'd sure like to know who runs the shadow now. Adam! Adam's not just Bram Stoker's grandson. He's also Radu's descendant. A descendant of Vlad Tepe's brother. Oh, that just takes the cake. It all adds up now. His interest in the Vambury collection... The painting theft? He wants to get to Dracula through his portrait. I was just Adam's pawn. You shouldn't have come all the way here. No one gets away with breaking into the shadow section. Two sewer workers saved my life. Or at least, whatever's left of my life. They found me and took me to the hospital. When I woke up, I found a bouquet of flowers in my room. The note that came with it infuriated me. Get well soon, sweetheart. Appearances can be deceiving. Love, Adam. How could he have dared? After regaining some strength, 
I ended up at the hotel. Alone, and without any lead whatsoever. I'm too weak to go back and confront the guard at the cistern. But I'm not letting Adam off the hook. I know only one person in Istanbul, the forger I visited a few days ago. The one who had the Dracula portrait that I found. I don't trust Yannick, but he's my last hope. But the light's still on. Yannick can't be far. I get the feeling that it's slightly different. And the wall moved. a lot of things to hide. Maybe I can recover the missing paintings. Oh, there's something nasty about this place. Yannick? <gasps> this is the second time you have come to my place without asking. What are you looking for here? A painting? A cadaver? Or just death? Death will come looking for me anyway. I don't need to tempt it. That is what I have been told. But even the Grim Reaper needs a hand sometimes. You're not going to have your way, Yannick. You're going... If I wanted to kill you, I would have done it a long time ago. But he decided otherwise. And I submit to his will. His will? You believe in God? <laughs> you are a funny one. I was talking about my master, Dracula. So you're the one who painted his portrait? Yes, a few centuries ago. I think I can say that it is my masterwork. Have you seen it? I even restored it. Bambury covered it with tar. I think he was scared of it. He is right. The one who has the mirror of the master lives on borrowed time. The mirror? I'm sure you know that we can't see our reflections in mirrors. This portrait shows the master just as he is. I thought that it might be Dracula's weakness. You have been reading too many gothic novels. Dracula is not Dorian Gray. This portrait is not a reflection of Dracula's soul. It is his mirror, as well as the window through which he sees the world. So why was the portrait stolen? 
The thief must have been mistaken about the nature of the painting, or he is expecting something in exchange. Ellen, what do you think Stoker wants? I heard that you knew him well. What do you know about the Shadow of the Dragon? Exactly what you know, I think. It is a secret society that Dracula's brother founded to destroy him. And your friend is the heir, right? Adam is not my friend. You are right. I am afraid that he is much more than just a friend. What are you going to do with the child? What? You might not know it yet, but you are carrying Adam's child, Ellen. Vampires can feel these kinds of things. You're pulling my leg. You are bearing the future heir of a dark order that is doomed to failure. Even if you're right, I won't live long enough to bring it into the world. You are probably right. A pregnancy could actually make your condition degenerate more quickly. But human nature is such that people end up fighting for lost causes. So before going on your way, I wanted you to have all the cards in your hand. How do I know if I can trust you? You should actually be asking what I could gain from lying to you. If you have seen his portrait, he has seen you through the portrait. But I don't need to tell you that. You already knew that, right? I can't believe it. Excessive skepticism is a modern scourge that can be as dangerous as blind faith. Take it from someone who has a lot of experience. Do these verses sound familiar? With the blood of Lilith, the first was created, who will not be troubled by any of his children. With the blood of Lilith, another will come into being, who will reign over the world in turn. These verses epitomize our common condition. Dracula is our father. No vampire born of his blood can vanquish him. What do you mean? Only a vampire born of the blood of Lilith, of a new lineage, could rival him. Was Lilith the first vampire? Of course not. It is just a metaphor. The first woman of creation was not Dracula's mother. Dracula, grief-stricken, drank the blood of his wife. And that is actually how he was transformed. So the prophecy refers to the few drops of this blood that he still keeps around his neck. If anyone gets hold of it and drinks it, they will have the power to overcome Dracula and to enslave vampires and humans. So that's what the Shadow of the Dragon is striving to do? Exactly. I must find Dracula. I think he is waiting for you. Where? I do not have the faintest idea. I am just his portrait painter. And forger from time to time. I don't know where his hideout is. Can the portrait tell us where he is? No. The portrait shows the dragon in the form in which he wanted to portray himself. The portrait helps you to recognize him, but it does not show you where you can find him. But I may have another solution. According to an old Slavic tradition, you can track someone down by drawing a map with some of the person's blood. I might have a few drops of his blood left. I put some of his blood in the paint I used for his portrait. But how do we mix it? An old antique dealer sold me a copper cylinder that has the recipe. I must have put it in the alchemy section.
Where can I find the paint that has Dracula's blood? I don't know. It has been such a long time. But I usually put the vials in chronological order. So you painted his portrait in the 16th century? Yes, I must have used the same paint base that I prepared for Da Vinci. And I think that I used a bit in the deep red that I prepared for Bruegel, the one he used to paint hell. Well, isn't that surprising? I sense a hint of sarcasm in your comment. I've come to the right place. Sure. Enough said. I really need to feed. Even if your illness makes you less appetizing, we must not tempt the devil, dear. I've never seen so many different paints and pigments. I have to admit that I have had time to accumulate the rarest of essences. At one time, people came from afar to purchase my paint. Did you work for all the masters whose names are on these vials? You are jealous, aren't you? Do you really think that the almost magical aura of some works is the fruit of just one man's talent? Only the raw essence can give soul to inanimate objects. I'm not sure I understood. Of course you have. Each of these paints contains the blood of a man, a woman, or even a vampire. This is the price of what you call soul, my dear. You will understand this soon enough. According to Yannick's explanation, Dracula's blood must be in a vial between Da Vinci and Bruegel. Da Vinci? Michelangelo? Raphael? All of these vials are labeled with the names of great painters. Yannick collects the paint vials that they used. Fascinating. Dracula's blood sample must be around here. To my favorite portrait painter, as henceforth, our destinies are forever entwined. 1507 D. Dracula's blood. goes in the last tube. Just need a sample of my own blood.
think I have everything I need. Chernobyl. Dracula obviously doesn't like to have people around. This truck must have gone off the road shortly after the nuclear accident. And no one's gone to the trouble of removing it. Alan, follow the path of despair. This voice in my head is different from the hallucinations I've had in the past. Someone's really calling out to me. Iodine pills. Great. Since the radiation level is high in this area, I'd better take them soon. The dragon and the radiation symbol. That can't be a coincidence. Follow the path of despair. Radioactivity is highest in this direction. So this is the path of despair. So that's where the famed Dracula is hiding. You're on the right track, Ellen. There's no turning back now. As I get closer, I hear more and more voices. It's locked from the inside. I have to go down. Dracula's hideout is somewhere under this tower. Ellen, one of these will lead you to me. The other ones will only lead you to death. These 
these munitions must be from the Middle Ages. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'll have to be careful. Only one of these passages will lead me to Dracula. I could use these cannonballs as decoys to detect traps. I hope I'm not mistaken. Chosen the right path, Ellen. But now you'll have to pay to cross. These flasks look like syringes. If I have to pay my passage with my blood, I won't have the strength to continue. I'll have to stay calm. He's playing with me. You're right. I'm playing with you. But will you really be able to stay calm? I'll try. That's brave, Ellen. In any case, it was about time. I really thought that your strength would fail you before you could make it here. Why were you expecting me? My dear, that's not the right question. I just knew that you would come. And what have you come so far to find? Don't tell me that you're here to prevent the shadow from getting a hold of my wife's blood. You know it's not true. No. You could have come here for any number of reasons. Curiosity, getting away from it all, wanting to find the one who betrayed you. I couldn't care less about him. Good. You'll be happy to learn that he's at my mercy. He got trapped in the limbo that you were able to avoid. I want you to recover my portrait. He brought it. You want your portrait? The one I restored. And what can you offer me in exchange? You've got some nerve. Well, what would you like? Are you trying to rescue him? Or hasten his downfall? 
No, don't answer. I'm really not used to being surprised anymore. Let me take advantage of this suspense. Whatever your motives are, I can return Adam to you. If you bring me back the portrait. Ellen, get me out of here. Oh? And why should I help you? I'm sorry. I needed the painting. But it doesn't mean I wasn't sincere with you. How can you say that? One of your henchmen tried to kill me. He acted on his own initiative. I never wanted you to die. I don't believe you. Give me the portrait, now. So he's the one who sent you? Precisely. If you get me out of here, you can have the painting. But beware, Ellen. Once he has what he wants. As far as that's concerned, he's obviously just like anyone else. And we're gonna die anyway. I'll die because of my illness. You'll die because of the radiation you've been exposed to since your arrival. And I haven't even gotten to the child yet. The child? I'm pregnant, Adam. Our child will die here with us. We can't let that happen. Don't be silly. We can't do anything about it. Help me to get out of here. I'll give you the portrait and prove that you're wrong. There's still hope. I'll get you out of here, Adam. But don't kid yourself. Neither of us will get out of here alive. The blood of Lilith can save us, Ellen. Trust me. I don't understand how you let yourself get sucked into this sect. I was brought up with one sole goal, Ellen. To find him, and the Grail of the Shadows. All this power and knowledge couldn't remain in his hands alone. So, you're in it for the power. Power and knowledge, Ellen. They go together. And vengeance. I'm not Radu. I don't have any scores to settle with him. Free me, and we'll both have a taste of it. I don't think he'll let you do that. Did Vanbury know what you were looking for? Vanbury was an old man, overcome by his obsession. You should have been honest with him. I don't need lessons from you, Ellen. You're not the frankest person either. You didn't tell me anything about your illness, about... That's irrelevant. Really? You were going to wait until I couldn't live without you to tell me the news? And you call that being honest? What were you expecting from the portrait? It's just a bargaining chip. This portrait can't do anything to hurt Dracula. However, it can actually betray us. How did you know he was hiding here? When I found out you went back to Yannick, I knew straight away that he would lead you to him. You've given his portrait the brilliance of his youth. I knew that Dracula would be grateful to you for this. I knew that he would let you come to him. So, you'll have used me right until the very end. You're taking everything the wrong way. You didn't think for one second that I've also come all the way here for you? Honestly, no. Centuries, the order you belong to tried to conquer or bribe me. What makes you think you'll succeed where your ancestors have failed? I bring you your mirror, Prince, as well as the sweetest of company. She looks like her, doesn't she? You couldn't help but notice. And she needs you. True, you're right. She really does look like her. You're clever, Adam. I might make you one of my children, but you'll never drink my wife's blood. So give it to her. You won't go through eternity alone. I'll spend eternity however I want to. Unless your days are numbered. You shouldn't have.
You saw me through the painting, didn't you? Yes, but you already knew that. For a long time, this painting was the last window through which I could see the world. Then crazy old Vambery put tar on it. So, I had his collection stolen. You could have just recovered the portrait, discreetly stolen it from the professor's home, couldn't you? That's probably what I would have done if Stoker hadn't come. He would have taken advantage of the situation to track the thief and put my loyal children in danger. But finally, you're the one who found Yannick and the portrait. And it's probably not a coincidence. Why did you choose this place? Men's madness has put this region at the intersection of two worlds. It's a place where darkness and light come together. Where I feel at home. And where your kind don't come to disturb me. Yannick says that no vampire can rival you. Oh, Yannick's an artist. He can take something appalling and make it sound elegant. But he's right. None of them can do anything to hurt me. Also, none of you would be able to save me from the ill that's eating away at me. I don't understand. Ellen, I was a prince. But I now only reign over the darkness and the rats that infest it. I am weary. You and your friend Stoker are so uh, entertaining. You've killed him? No, no. He's yours, as promised. But you should be worried about your own fate. Your last bit of strength is failing you, and you'll die soon. Adam was right. You remind me of someone who was very dear to me. The time has come for me to share my curse. Ellen, I'm offering life for you and your child. But I'm also offering you a life of darkness. The choice is yours. You've chosen to accept Dracula's gift. Your human existence comes to an end here. Your future, henceforth, belongs to darkness. You've decided to turn down Dracula's gift. The Prince of Darkness will remain the one and only master of the undead. Your existence comes to an end. Unless...